boy, we are back from Sharad. Wasn't that boat lovely? You know, they're really in Paris. Yeah. Really in Paris. No green screen. Audrey Hepburn had just filmed a movie called, I think it was called In Paris When It Sizzles or something like that, and she didn't want to leave. She was like, no, let's just keep filming here. So the studio said, it's Audrey Hepburn, okay. Good. She threw her weight around at just the right time, I think. She's not that heavy. <laughs> yeah, she threw her 100 pounds lady. around. A little wisp. It's enough. It's enough. So speaking of the sane, <laughs> isn't New Mexico insane? <laughs> nice work. Do you like, uh, you like working out here, yes? I do. Very exciting because kind of like the wild west of film production right now, we're at the beginning of a major, major takeover of this industry in this state, mm -hmm. if I may say that. Oh, you Who's um, taking it over? Well, independent producers like myself. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And major films, major TV series are all coming here, and it will benefit all of us. And we're starting a cottage industry, and it's going to be fabulous. Mark my words. All right. Teach me about the word cottage industry that you just cottage used. Cottage industry. Um, well, that means... Um, it sounds good. <laughs> a little cottage. No, I'm like, kidding. if that means gardens and B&Bs <laughs> and shepherd's pie, I'm in. That's industry. Well, no, it's starting something. You know, we're not Hollywood, but we're going to start our own Hollywood here. From here, rooted with New Mexican-based companies. And we're just as good, if not better. We can do it all here. Mm -hmm. And I think it's... Um, you know, very empowering to see uh, people like yourselves taking the reins on your own show and just going for it. And who knows how this is going to do on YouTube? Hopefully, very well. Hopefully, great. Like right now. This like is... right now, there's a million people watching um, all over the world. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. She's she's Obi wanting us. She's like right now. <laughs> You know, I'm, a, I'm a, just a great believer in the power of positive thinking, and um, I just think that there's a lot of energy right now that's uh, moving forward, you know, here, and uh, why not? We yeah, can do, do it. I do feel like we finally got some good traction going. We're doing it, Peter. We're doing it. We're doing it. That's, We're flying. That's an abridged, uh, yeah, it's kind of a Peter Pan quote. Yeah. Like, kind of. I can fly. We're doing it. Look. That's from Hook when they're like, You're doing it. I think Peter. It's, it's almost from Hook. But wait. We're, We're doing talking it. about Audrey Hepburn right now. And yeah. Grant. Speaking of Peter, you're she doing was it, Carrie. Peter Joshua. That was his first name. That was Adam. his first name. Won't I like be his Adam. Last. That was his first name. It, uh, no, it won't be his last. Why does she keep going back to him? Why? Because he's Why cool. do we watch Alias? <laughs> I never <laughs> watched Alias. I don't either. <laughs> I never, I'm asking I the royal, why it. do we watch that well, show? Because you make TV. Why do people watch Alias? Because well, I don't. Well, I think. I don't know because I never watched it. <laughs> right. But I think with this film, it's she sees something in Cary Grant's eyes, mm -hmm. even though he's just lying to her blatantly mm -hmm. over and over and he's over. He's pretty again. silly. I think when she saw when she saw Jean Louis, Jean Louis, you can't say <laughs> John Louis like it doesn't work. Jean Louis. John when Lewis. she saw Jean Louis uh, <laughs> squirt him in the face with a squirt gun, and he wasn't like get this kid. <laughs> like he was nice about it and made a joke. I think. That was like the he moment. Could do no and he's wrong. not a witch. That was the moment she he's not said. a witch or a gremlin, clearly. <laughs> or a ghoul. Or a vampire. Do vampires hate water? He's probably in a mirror at one point at least. He's too tan. He, but, you he, know, he could be a werewolf. He, no, I, th I think you're exactly right though. That that crazy water gun. I thought it was a real gun at the beginning, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yeah, it looked like mm -hmm. a spy. Right, like mm -hmm. this is a spy thriller, but no, it's a water gun, mm -hmm. and you actually laugh. Mm -hmm. But because he didn't like hit the kid or something, mm -hmm. like, get out of here. She was really like, you know, mm -hmm. he's good people. She was like vibing with him from the start. Because she probably <laughs> wants to have a baby at some point, and well, she's she looking does, for a, a man. She does say, and I hope all, they get, give all the sons the names of mm -hmm, his mm -hmm. aliases. But maybe not. God's maybe sake. not. I don't what? know. This might be a different version. I of think we all know what we got into, and we watched a classic movie, and people <laughs> just. End up together. Yeah. Thirty year age difference. They wouldn't no big. stand for that. If they no did big it. deal. Twilight's he could be my grandfather. It's okay. Yeah, because like Edward and Bella were like a hundred years one. apart. Much bigger. Gross. Yeah. Well, if you want to see how this ends, and if we're not lying, stick around. Charade.
<laughs> Just like mashing the popcorn. New Mexico film series Breaking Bad as which successful spin-off show? The answer, if you live in New Mexico and don't know this, move. Welcome back to the Pulp Film Lab, where we are watching Charade. Yes, we are. And you know what's really weird, Lauren, is um, no one ever talks about uh, this dichotomy in this film, which is the grisly murder and then the lighthearted slapstick yeah. comedy. What? Yeah, it's like, it's no like, big deal. It's like, oh, I'm going to carry Grant's lap. A guy died in the elevator, though. And where did Alex? Oh my God! Lisa? Lisa? No, actually, I'm not Lisa. I'm Laura. Oh. Well, could, it couldn't have been you. you if you're not Lisa, Everything's gonna be okay. I work for the CIA. It's okay. Oh. We'll be right back with more charade. <laughs> and Laura. <laughs> well, there you have it. A classic Hollywood ending. <laughs> everything in its place and a place for everything. Four boys named after the aliases of Cary Grant. And I'm sure Alex would be happy to know that everything turned out okay. I'm really sorry about that, by the way. Hey, it's in the past, you know. Lisa, <laughs> if our audience and viewers want to find out more about you and what you do, where can they find that out? Hmm, the best place to go, uh, since we don't have a website, is probably IMDB, and I'm Lisa Lucas 3 so. All right. I'm a, there's more Lauren Pools than one, too. And if you want to find out more about this show, then go to facebook.com backslash Pulp Film Lab or in the little search window on Facebook, type in Pulp Film Lab. Uh, I'm Lauren Poole, and for Alex Knight, I'm saying goodbye. And Lisa Lucas, thank you so much for coming on our show. Thank you for having me, Lauren. It was a pleasure. Cool. Beautiful. So join us next time for more awesome and awesomely bad movies. And Moira. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.